What up guys, it's Banana Owns here bringing you part 54 of my Skyward Sword Let's Play. And in this episode, we are going to escort Scrapper back, well back up, back up to the summit of the Elden Volcano. So we can use this uh, water basin that we got from the water dragon to open up the little frog door in order to get into the fire sanctuary. So... This part is uh, kind of interesting, a little bit difficult, but it is... I enjoyed it. Actually, in fact, I failed the first time I did this in this playthrough. So I did a quick edit, though, and put me back on like the, the spot right where I died. So we didn't really lose too much time. So to keep these videos a little bit shorter than they need to be. So the basic gist of this is you have to... Escort Scrapper up and make sure he doesn't get attacked, which is a lot easier said than done because there are a lot of archers. So you really need to use your bow to pick off the all the archers in order to make sure Scrapper does not get hurt. Because if he gets hurt, you have to it's basically start all over, but the good thing is the enemies don't respawn. All the enemies that you already killed don't respawn, so you just... It's just a more of a time waster than anything. You'd have to basically just re-climb up the mountain that you were on. Okay, so it's really easy. I, what you do is you... I recommend taking the left path here because it's a bit shorter and therefore is well worth the time. <laughs> as you can see, Scrapper kind of stops and just waits for you as well. Okay, so again, just I'm just picking off... Uh, Boku Boblins with my bow and arrow and just trying to avoid them. See, like, if you notice, like, I thought it was really cool in this game when you get set on fire after you get your little fire earrings, you, uh, it automatically puts out fires when you get it set on fire. So that's really cool. I actually really enjoy that. It's a nice little gameplay mechanic. But of course, you can always still just roll them out in order to get them, take it out, like, really fast. But hey, whatever. It's still fucking cool. Okay, so. There's these uh, giant, like, moblins on this bridge here. I just shoot arrows at them. In reality, what you're supposed to do is you you sprint over them and then attack their back. But I was stupid, and I don't learn that strategy until, like, the last dungeon of the game. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't start noticing that because I'm a, I'm a freaking idiot. That's what, that's what I've learned, but hey... I mean, we, we still learn. Everyone's learning. I just learned how to, to do just a bunch of normal French stuff. So, basically, just stay calm, pick off enemies, and make your way up the mountain. It's, it's fairly easy, even though I get stuck. But the only reason why I really fail is because I run out of arrows. And there's an area with a large amount of arrows in it, actually. Where you have to basically take out a... Very, it's a very small area as well, with like five ar or so archers actually, which is really, really inconvenient. But look at look at this. I'm look at my sniping skills right now. Let's see here. I got the target and chromic crosshairs. Let's see here. Fucking got him. Let's see. Let's get this bastard over here. This is, this is an easy shot. Got him as well. Fucking. I'm so good at this game, man. I just fucking snipe like a boss with the bow and arrow. I'm just so fucking good. Oh, so again, just take out the enemies, make sure they don't get scrapper. This is pretty much the oldest video. It's a very interesting mechanic, but eh, it's kind of cool. I, it's it's an escort mission, so I have like a natural predisposition towards escort missions. I really dislike them in a sense because they are really, really, really. Uh, I don't, I don't, I just don't like them. <laughs> so, basically, I'm just still making your way up the mountain, and I don't know, this, this escort mission isn't too bad. I think it's way better than the uh, escorting the carriage in Twilight Princess is, like, the only example I have of a recent Zelda escort mission in, like, a 3D game. So, uh, compared to that, it's, it's a lot easier, but it could, it's, it's still 
kind of taxing and just protecting Scrapper because I wish there was an, an option to tell Scrapper to stay in a certain place or instead of having him follow you because he's just kind of just does what he wants basically. <laughs> so anyway I'm shooting this Moblin with Iron Shield. In retrospect what you do is you need to just hop over him instead of just shooting him like 50,000 times like I am. I'm doing it the stupid way, so if you play this game, do it the smart way. <laughs> so I run out of arrows right here, and I need to try to get this Moblin, but I'm having a hard time figuring out you can just run at him. Let's see, and then he attacks me. And then I suppose if you time your shield boost right, you can actually, like, knock him back. And, uh, therefore... Uh, knock him back, and then you can get in like a couple of uh, you know easy shots in. So, as you see, I'm like quite quite like at an impasse here. There we go. I got like a quick quick shot against him, and I think I, I try uh, sidling along the edges here just so I can get him, but I fall. Eh. I'm I'm really bad at taking out these Moblin guys right now, but later on in the game I actually figure out what you're supposed to do, and I. I redeem myself. Okay, so let's see here. I'm still fighting this Moblin guy. Ah, oh, he has his... Okay, so I finally start using my shield. Just wait for him to use his spear. His spear? His spear. His spear. Not his spear. Okay, and then... Okay. So there we go. There's two, sh two shits. Two shits. There's two more hits, and uh, it's really fortuitous in this game that uh, when you attack enemies, they don't regain health. Or at least these, at least these moblins don't regain health. See, there we go. Got him down. Got him there. And he, with his dying breath, manages to knock me into the lava like a bitch. <laughs> that motherfucker. He got me. He got me good. He got me good. Okay, so now we're past that moblin, and there's a whole, whole gigantic area up ahead with a bunch of archers, and and I have no arrows left. So all, all I can do is basically just let Scrapper die so I can get an another chance to to finish this whole thing. Okay, so basically, you know, just kill him more time. Just getting this... Oh, and then he still kind of follows you. I'm just trying to figure out, like, okay, maybe I could just go back in this area and grab arrows. Okay, whatever. He's kind of a, still being an asshole to me, which I don't, I don't think Link deserves that. To be honest, I, I think it's kind of a kind of a meaning. So like, so like, I'm basically just making him be deaf fodder right now, which is really fucked up. But this is what this robot grumpy cat gets for being mean. And I, I'm gonna attempt to like get on the this whole area right here to see if I can do anything. But Scrapper's just gonna get shot. There's, there's no real point. Oh, and oh, there's a dick spot right there. I probably could have just dug out some arrows real quick. But, hey, he's going to die right now. No, Scrapper, no. No, don't die. Don't die. Spartans never die. That's a Halo reference right there for all you Halo fans. Yeah, that's, that's how I roll. So, basically, quick edit right there and second attempt. It just was like, I just edited out like a couple minutes of me just climbing up the mountain again. There was no real point, there was no real content, so that, that's why I just took it out. Okay, so there's another Moblin. There's like two to the left here, I believe, or just one. I don't know, so let's take out this Moblin right here. With the Iron Shield, I shoot, let's see, how many how many shots of the arrow does it take? It's like it's like eight or something. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of arrows. You, I don't recommend doing this unless you have like a fully upgraded bow. But hey, I didn't really learn how to do this. So, basically, there we go. I think that we got him right. Oh, never mind. You just wait for him to fall down. Okay, got him there. Make, he, he does like this like... I, I'm assuming that's a boy moblin. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> it might be a chick moblin. I, I just assume it's a boy moblin. I sh I'm bad for assuming like gender roles like that for moblins. But in reality, you should just sprint over him and use the sword and 
Just basically keep it up. Just keep it up. Just keep it up. You're almost, you're like basically, oh, hold on, let me see. Did I accidentally move my mic? Okay, basically hold up and just keep calm. You're, you're at the home stretch here for this little section right here. So basically attack the bats. Attack the, the Lizafos and just keep moving along. Unless there's there are Lizafos. But hey, whatever. These voiceovers are, aren't as good. <laughs> We're 50 odd episodes in right now. You can cut me some slack. I can't make all these all these voiceovers fucking amazing. Okay, so go up the little side right here. Okay, and they are there's there's dual Lizafos here. And guess what? We're gonna take them out. So Remember our earlier strategy for taking out Lizafos is you basically attack them until they do the the little uh, the, until they hold their arms at a certain angle. So that's that's the whole plan right there. You can take them out in like two hits with this uh, with the upgraded sword a little bit. Yeah, so it's about like two rounds. And make sure to pick up your tails if you are a collection knot, which I am not. I'd... It's a cool idea to do a collection system and to do like an upgrade system in this game, but I, I think it really fell flat. It was really unnecessary. I just, it was just, there's no point to me, really. And it's, it's cool enough, like if you got into it, I think, I think for stuff that was really cool, I never really used it too much, but I really appreciate the potions, the very, uh, the extra potion stuff. I, f I think that was very well done. I mean, I've never gotten into it myself, but that made it give you gave you an incentive to, you know, use the give you incentive to actually use the bug catching skill, compared to something like a Twilight Princess, where there really was no incentive to fish other than just for the sake of fishing. So there was actually was an incentive here to fish. See, so which I I really enjoy that actually because. It's really fucking like a good idea and gives you and if, if you put in time for the bug catching you can really make some powerful potions which really make the, the game easier so I really enjoy stuff like that because I don't know it's just it's just cool it just gives you an incentive to try other aspects of the game and it gives you reward too I think all games that have collectibles really need you to they need to give you an incentive they need you to basically give you a reason to do it like they should give you a special weapon or maybe a special other special benefit like a special map or a car or maybe just anything just something to make it worth your while instead of just having like a number on like a stat board well anyway that concludes this video so see you later guys